Welcome to the NCO Journal, the official magazine of NCO professional development. I'm your host, Sergeant First Class Vince Abril. Now let's get down to Sergeant's business. Hold it! Members of the U.S. Army band known as Pershing's Own had the honor to take part in a tradition that started more than 90 years ago. The 99-piece band made up of members of the Ceremonial Band, Concert Band, and the Army Blues Jazz Ensemble led the official presidential escort down Pennsylvania Avenue from the Capitol Building to the White House Parade Viewing Stand. NCOs in the band not only realized the honor of this unique opportunity, they also saw this as a situation to enhance their leadership abilities. Participating in his fifth presidential inauguration, the drum major, Sergeant Major Julian Ayers, said these experiences help him figure out how he can be a better leader. Ayers also said he uses events like the inauguration to show fellow soldiers how much their contributions matter. Pershing Zone participated in numerous rehearsals throughout the days leading up to the inauguration to performing at ceremonies for cabinet members and opening the Making America Great Again concert at the Lincoln Memorial. The U.S. Army Band was not the only unit tasked with taking part in the inauguration. The 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard, provided soldiers from three platoons to take their traditional places among the festivities. The Presidential Salute Battery have taken part in Inauguration Day ceremonies since President Ronald Reagan was in office. Escort Officer Sergeant Jordan Goodman said the number one task during this ceremony was to give the incoming president his first 21-gun salute, which is the highest honor rendered to the president. The Quezon Platoon, the last remaining full-time equestrian unit in the Army, participated in the parade and earned special recognition from then-president-elect Donald Trump, who tweeted, Proud to have the Quezon Platoon, home of the Army's oldest and most famous horse, Blackjack, take part in Inauguration Day 2017. The Old Guard's Honor Guard Company provided seven soldiers to serve in a traditional role dating back to the very first presidential inauguration. The Honor Guard Cordon, made up of an NCO and six soldiers, served as an official escort to President-elect Trump. Sergeant First Class Christopher Tafoya, the Cordon NCOIC explained that his soldiers are the first the president interacts with and that is not something that he takes lightly. Sergeant Major of the Army Daniel Daly recently held a town hall at Fort Meade, Maryland to discuss the future and strength of our Army. Daly explained that the Army was tasked to expand by 28,000 troops this year, creating an end strength of just over 1 million soldiers. In order to reach this enormous goal, the Army implemented a new bonus and extension program. Soldiers who decide to extend for an additional 12 months are eligible to receive a cash bonus up to $10,000. To see if you're one of those soldiers who are able to receive this incentive, see your career counselor today. They are the experts and they can tailor options based on a soldier's MOS and a soldier's specific situation. Finally, an Army National Guard soldier from Illinois invented a tool that has the potential to not only save the Army hundreds of thousands of dollars, but also lives. Sergeant Wesley Todd's tool allows seized muzzle brakes on light-toed howitzers to be removed more easily. Before Todd's invention, soldiers had to take a sledgehammer to the muzzle brake, which would sometimes damage the barrel and cost the Army more than $265,000. Illinois National Guard Adjutant General Major General Richard Hayes said Todd's leadership is a great example of how to listen to your soldiers' ideas and help them implement positive changes. Sergeant Todd explained that every soldier needs to be willing to put his own needs and wants last without seeking recognition for what he does or sacrifices. Also, that the key to being a good leader is to know the ins and outs of his or her career field and be able to apply that knowledge. That's it for our show. For more information on these and other great stories, click on the link in the description below and we'll see you next time right here at the NCO Journal. <laughs>